Do you hear that? <laughs> that's, uh, that's the distance between the two. Are you with me? Compensation. Now, normally, I would conclude the case for the prosecution by... Well, ..jumping in your desk and pissing on your inkwells. But, well, <laughs> I feel, metaphorically speaking, I've just done that. I'll put your request to head office. Good. You will, uh, you'll find my client simple people to deal with for 20k apiece. You will be given exclusive rights to give them all brain tumours. <laughs> Not to become effective until the new year, when they're back from Disneyland, pissed off and expecting a dirty big gas bill. <laughs> Any other business? Eh? <laughs> Call me. <laughs> It's uh, nice to see so many happy, smiling faces here tonight. <laughs> As usual, we'll uh, start our counselling session with a hymn. Any suggestions? Sure. How about Nearer My Wallet to Thee? <laughs> there is a green back far away. <clears throat> Call me hypersensitive, but I'm getting the feeling you're trying to tell me something here. Look at yourself. You started off attacking the phone company for public health reasons. Next thing, you're bending over and they're poking money up your arse with an aerial mast. You must be the oldest rent boy in Govan. It was a majority decision. I was just doing what the people around here wanted. The people around here are just appetites and trainers. They don't value life, because they've never nearly lost it. No like us. Aye. I used to live in a skip. With nothing to eat but bubble wrap. <laughs> put sugar on it, kid, on it was Rice Krispies. Aye. I've done that. <laughs> Taking it up the arse for money. I thought you were bigger than that. Will you stop saying that? It wasn't a greed. It was a pride thing. They phone company Torags, they made me feel wee. I felt like that mess of my life. I had to fight back. I had to win. It's coming to a group like this that has made me feel that like People like us can do that. It wasn't about the money. What the hell would I do with money at my age? Hey, it would spoil my cheery disposition. <laughs> now, are you, are you going to pick a hammer? No, you scabby looking bastard that you are. <laughs> All right, but you're still an arse. I don't know that, him. You start, I'll join in. <laughs> I'm not going any phone, are they? They're just going to make us sweat. Well, it's certainly working in your case. There's <laughs> some chip back in 1978 running out of the Oaksters. It's just a wee summer top. I've not had a holiday for yonks. Not since that five-in-a-bed sex romp at Blackpool. Sounds interesting. Oh, you've got brothers. You know what they're like. <laughs> you should have ring it too. If you don't, well, I have to think of a plan B. We could riot in the streets, go on a looting spree. And Govan, there's only the bookies in the cancer shop. You want to run about wielding a red stumpy pen with a pair of corduroy flares under your arm. You're on your own. They're playing the nerve game, Ram. Hoping we'll all jump if that phone rings. Ah, well, we'll show them. We'll show them. Remember what Jimmy Reed said at the Upper Clyde working, eh? The rat race is for rats. The eyes of the world are upon us. We will conduct ourselves with dignity. We will conduct ourselves with aplomb. Hello. Oh. Oh, I see. But what about the... Hello? Hello? What happened? Lost the signal. <laughs> Me too. Look, no network coverage. Me or no? Same here. What's going on? Jamesy, Andra, Rob, I think you better come and see this. Moved 
the mast. On our side of the river. We're out of range. I better give it to you straight. You say they moved out of government, right? You say if they paid us money, they'd have to give everybody money, so... We'll be need compensation. Bastards! Go! Oh! <laughs> was that for? Well, I need a scapegoat if I have it. got me! <laughs> No signal, no compen. I really showed the memory. Never mind, Drap. Swings and roundabouts, eh? What do you mean? She nagged me, nagged me to see her granny and grandpa again. I said, all right, but if you end up baldy in hospital getting visited by McFly, don't come running to me. <laughs> what the hell, Mammy? It's worth the risk. Look, I've had a good innings, but when you gotta go, you gotta go. Am I right? What? <laughs> I'm not downhearted, by the way. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> because, I mean, life is failure, isn't it? Punctuated by strange wee moments of elation. Like the time my mother died, but I won ten pound on a scratch card. <laughs> Maybe things would have been different if I'd had an education, you know. If I'd been enlightened. Then again, I'd probably have had to stab some bastard. Then I'd been stuck into Berlin, you know. Where I could have done an open university degree in social science. <laughs> but then again, if I'd wanted to do honours, I would have had to stab some bam in the shower for a longer sentence, you know. <laughs> it's a bloodbath getting an education when you're scum. <laughs> well, I think I've solved the riddle of one headache. How do you mean? Well, I found these under the Wayne's pillar. Good sick. You know what, Mary? I'm, I'm glad we didn't get that cash. What shall it profit a man if he gain the world and loses his wee fat grandkid? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, though. It's quite nice having a trainee fat bastard in her family, isn't it? Ah, well, she's got you to thank for that, Rab. Oh, yes. My legacy is secure. <laughs> oh. Good night, Mary. Night, Rab. Oh! Relax. It's a Mars bar. Good for that. I've got a headache. That figures. <laughs> You can see more of Ramsey Nesbitt next Thursday night at 10 here on BBC HD. On the way next tonight, Kirsty Young and the 80s effect on the British family.